this looks like a big, big party right here, boys. Uh, I just got a package from G Fuel with, oh god, let me clean that up, the new lemonade made shot flavor. And five cups. Um, the blue night shot cup, the pink Jeff cup, the gorilla cup, that I already have a ton of, by the way. Um, then the red one, which I fill with ice and water, and phase 2.0, which oh, I got too as well. So, uh, this is our official because we already had this one, which I love. We're gonna have the nade shot flavor for the very, very first time. So, there are a couple things you need to know when making G Fuel, because I do drink it a lot. If I show you guys the tubs that I have, which are quite a lot, um, they're, all, they're all pretty much empty. Um, obviously the newer ones aren't, but I'm really excited to try this one out. It smells, um, it smells mild, so it doesn't smell too strong, which is, which is a good sign. It is very, very important to use water and ice. A lot of people don't do ice, but ice just makes it 20 times better, basically. So, ice. Now let's fill up the scoop. And you want to fill up the scoop to this edge right here. Not all the way there, but just this edge. This is just because you can pour it uh, easier in bottles um, without spilling. So, let's put it in. Alright. And this is the very first time. Ooh, you saw me opening the lid, so. It's the very first time I'm trying this flavor. Shake it up really nicely. Yep. It's yellowish. So, here we go. Bottoms up. Oh, yeah. Mmm. It's, ah, oh, damn. So obviously it's uh, lemon, and you already have lemon lime, which is a lot more sour than this one. This is a very mild, very easy to drink, light lemon flavor, which I do like a lot. And um, I, you definitely have to drink it with ice though, because it's just so much better. It's not too strong. It's not too sweet. Obviously, it's a little bit sweet, a little bit sour because of the lemon. Get yourself a lemonade flavor, and if you do buy it, make sure to use code JASPER10. What's up, guys? Welcome back to a brand new... This video is kind of all over the place, by the way. I have the G Fuel section, then I had some workout clips that you're watching right now, and then at the end of the video, we're playing some CSGO for the very first time. So, make sure to stick around to watch it all. But today, I want to go over some of my the shoulder workout that I did on Thursday, I think. Um, and a little bit of a clips from Friday from uh, rec pooling because I am doing that again. So uh, what I want to talk about today is um, I haven't trained chest in about one and a half weeks. And I said I was going to the chiropractor. Um, I'm not going. I'm going to a manual therapist. That's what they call it. Um, because he, um, I, have, I still have to call this guy, but um, he specialized in shoulder uh, and um, upper back pains. Um, and obviously neck pain as well. Uh, that's all stuff that I'm dealing with. Um, so I'm gonna see that guy to make sure, uh, because a chiropractor just does his thing, uh, but this guy also you know, can spot and can think about an issue and where it comes from, and then move on from there. So uh, that's why I'm doing that. I'll keep you guys posted on a big, uh, I keep you guys posted on that because I want to make sure if you are struggling with the same thing or you can prevent it in some way that you guys know how to do that and, and learn from my mistakes. Um, so this is an exercise, by the way, that you should be trying out. Uh, the Arnold presses, I don't do them quite 100% correctly, to be honest, in this clip. Um, I need to go a little bit more forward. Um, but this is a very, very uh, sick exercise to do, and we supersetted it with um, with some seated side raises, as you can see in the video. Uh, seated side raises are very hard to do, or much harder to do than standing ones. Uh, that's just because you can't use your feet um, or your legs for any momentum. So all of the power that comes up goes through either your wrist or your elbow, and they should be going through your elbow. That's why you wanna uh, pull the weight up with 
Um, when pulling with the elbow, you're making sure you're targeted um, the shoulder. And when you pull a little bit more with your wrist, you know, you drive the weight a little bit more with your wrist is something you don't want to be doing. So uh, if you feel like you're driving uh, all of the power through the wrist, then I would uh, suggest you go a little bit lighter on the weight so you make sure to have enough strength to pull through the elbows. Um, yeah, so we super set out with auto presses. I think we did about uh, 10 uh, reps on each exercise of those. And then we moved on to do some rear delts. Uh, these are like single hand reverse flies, I think you could say. Um, these are very, very nice. Uh, they are quite hard to feel at the beginning though. So you wanna make sure you practice with some lighter weight. So you make sure to really um, have that mind muscle connection set to the rear delts because that could be a difficult area for you to feel. Uh, that's at least where I was struggling with at the very beginning when I started. And we superseted that with some rope, um, some rope raises, front raises with a rope, uh, which are a very good exercise. What you want to do though, something Lex taught me, is keep your thumbs over the rope balls. Uh, it makes it way harder and it just completely. Um, change the exercise, so I want to make sure to do that. A little tip you, I can give you guys. Uh, and then I started doing rack pulls again. Um, I had some trouble with my lower back. It always seems like I have trouble, but it's just I highlight the troubles in my videos so you guys know and learn from that uh, so you don't make the same mistakes that I did. Um, but I'm doing that again. 120 kilos first, second set, 315, 140 kilos um, for a steady five reps, I think, uh, which felt really good. And if I can see, if I look at the footage, they look really good too. So nothing to really worry about there. And then I went for, uh, of course, this one was my first time doing it heavy again. Um, so I did the third set, 160 kilos, and I did one rep, uh, which went very well. Uh, the speed on the rep was very good, um, but I felt like one was enough for now. And we'll do two next week, as you can see here. I'm pulling. Um, I. Lockdown is, was good. Uh, I felt like it, the speed was good through the movement. So uh, next week we're going to try two reps or three even. Let's see how that goes. Uh, but now, yeah, let's just jump into the Counter-Strike uh, part of this video. It's really fun. Um, I'm playing Counter-Strike for the pretty much the first, first time. Um, so hope you guys enjoy that. Thank you all so much for watching and enjoy the rest of this video. What's going on, guys? Um, so I think we are uh, all good. <laughs> Welcome to the gaming section of this video. Now, a couple of days ago, I actually downloaded Steam and bought CSGO because I really want to get into it. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I, I played twice, so I kind of know what's up, but uh, bear with me as I uh, try to play this game. Um, so yeah. I'm going to snipe because it's a lot more fun for you guys to watch, I think. But, um, oh my god, I'm on fire already. Never mind. So, I have to really get into the groove of this thing. Um, it's so hard, bro. And my hands are so cold. It's my dad's birthday today, so um, I kind of have to make a video real quickly. So I can, you know be at this birthday uh, thing. I don't know why it zooms in automatically. Um, I really have to fix that. Um, after, you know, every time after I shoot for some reason, I, um, you know, it zooms back in. So that's really annoying. Yesterday I had this, I, I hit this nasty ass no scope, bro. Oh, let's go. Two no scopes in a row. But yeah, I need to practice on bots first before I can play online because this is a very competitive game, I heard. So, listen, even crouching is hard for me. I don't know how people do that. And also, Sensei's fight is today. Uh, he's fighting for the third official time uh, in a match. And he is uh, facing a pretty... Uh, Pretty decent opponent, I think. Sensei's fighting today, I'm not sure what time, and I can't watch it because it does it's not streamed or anything. Maybe I asked someone who is there to FaceTime me so I can watch it, but I'm not really sure what time it really is, to be honest. But yeah, I wanted to let you guys know that I am going to Ireland next weekend. I'm going to Dublin to visit a friend who is studying over there. Um, so that's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm gonna with um, nine friends. We're gonna with nine people, I think. Uh, nine or 10. So that should be a lot of fun, and hopefully, um, um, damn. 
hopefully I get the chance to train there or something and uh, I'll, I'll make sure to tweet out what gym I'm at so um, because I know a lot of viewers are from um, are from Ireland so um, yeah it could be a lot of fun if um, if I could some meet some of you guys all right oh god that was nice oh god that's four please let me know if you guys like this kind of stuff to see gaming and um, fitness in one video because I um, I, I'm a fitness channel at heart, so I there's no way I'm gonna stop making fitness videos. Uh, but I know you, damn, I died. But I know you guys like um, gaming videos too, so I try to combine the two so we can make uh, good content, which everyone enjoys and gets the best of both worlds, which I think is a great mix. But please let me know if you guys enjoy this these type of videos. Um, please let me know guys, this is the first time ever playing CSGO, so um, let me let me know how I did. Like, I don't know how I did. I, I hope I did good. That's gonna be it for the video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, please let me know in the comment section down below if you wanna help me with CSGO or wanna leave me any feedback. I don't know why I have OBS Studio open, I'm sorry. Uh, but if you wanna leave me with any feedback, highly appreciate it. See ya.